Okay, good evening everybody. Um, today we are going to be setting up the Active Directory server. Uh, we'll also be setting up the DHCP scopes and DNS also. Um, so you'll probably notice that uh, there's a few changes to the topology. Uh, I've just um, got rid of a couple of the connections into the management networks and I've actually change the management network but I'm not sure that I showed this so uh, the management cloud is actually just a, a NAT network that comes included with uh, EVNG so this allows you to get out to the internet but it also gives you a network uh, to use as well uh, so what we'll be using the management network for is basically for the network management center to connect to firepower and ice and to the remote asa once we get that up and running and to allow the firepower to talk to the ftds now this would be possible by going through the lab through the switches and firewalls and stuff that we set up um but the i, I think there's there's some sort of limitation on the it's either the bandwidth or the mtu size that you can push through the switches and that causes um yeah poor performance basically so it's much much better to connect sort of direct from um the network management center to these devices and for fmc to talk to the ftds directly as well uh, we'll also be using the nat function of the management network for the network management center for when we download uh, a couple of applications for syslog snmp uh maybe even netflow and things like putty and also firepower has to reach out to the internet to get its updates for malware and ips signatures and stuff like that uh, what i've also done is rather than connecting to each device singularly um, all the sort of servers um, and windows clients i've set up um, a remote RDP manager so that I can just browse from one to the other. Uh, the way in which you do this, make sure that's connected. Yep. So the way in which you do this is, is quite simple. If we hover over, oh, we'll do this one because it's closest. If we hover over the AD server here, we can see in the bottom left hand side of my screen, uh, it's just popped up with the um, 10 10 10 91 address which is the address of my e server and then the port at the end uh, 51 821 so then all we do is we set up a normal remote session as you would do to any other i'm just using a remote desktop connection manager here but it's the same principle uh, and all we do is we just stick the port on the end of the rdp address Okay, so let's get started with setting up the domain controller then. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, manage within the server manager and we're going to go to add roles and features. Uh, we're going to skip the screen there. Uh, yes, we're going to say we want to all add a role. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to rename the server first. So we'll call this uh, HQ uh, DC. Yeah, and we'll just give it a restart. So with the um, management uh, networks, you can see I've added some IP addresses here. So for these IP addresses for the AD server, for instance, so on the 10, 11, 17 network, which we set up on the data center side, uh, the AD will be dot five, and we'll also use it as dot five on this management network as well.
Okay, yeah, so we'll go back to manage once this is finished booting up. Okay, that's me just being a little impatient there. Yeah, we'll go to uh, a role-based feature we want to add. Let's do our new name there. And we want to add Active Directory. In fact, no, we don't want certificate services. We do want certificate services eventually. <coughs> um, but I found that you can't add that at the same time as adding the domain services. So we'll come back and do that afterwards. Yeah, domain services we want, we want DHCP. And we want DNS. Yep, that's fine. Tell it to restart automatically if it's needed and we'll go ahead and install okay so i'll pause the video there um, this is just going to automatically run through it and then reboot um, so we'll pick it back up then okay there we are uh, so as we can see up here uh, this tells us that we have configuration to be completed on the dhcp server and the active directory domain services uh, so we will do that bit first. Uh, we will add a new forest. And we will call this uh, home.local. Okay, yep, yeah, we will give it a restore password. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That should probably auto populate with just home.
Okay, happy days. So all the prerequisite checks passed. We can go ahead and install. Seems to take longer than I remember. Uh, I'm not exactly a, a Windows or an infrastructure guy, but I have done this before. Okay, great. That looks like it's about to restart. That was nice and easy. The good thing about Windows stuff, it tends to be nice and easy. Generally just next, next finish. Have to have a double check actually. I don't think that that port changes upon a reboot, but double check that. Uh, 51821. No, that is the same. shouldn't have changed.
It certainly does seem to be struggling. Yes, it's not showing on resources. My lab's doing fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the DHCP configuration. Is it nice and easy? Okay, so let's go ahead and add our scopes for the networks that we know are going to be DHCP. Uh, so that's going to be client one, client two, VoIP, and uh, yeah, the RDT will be um, separate. That'll be a static network. So 128, oh no, that's the same network actually. So just 128 and 134. So switch 11, yep, switch 11 clients and switch 12 voice. So switch 11 clients. That was 10, 11, 128. Um, so we'll start the range at 11. It at 254. There's a slash 24. Uh, no exclusions. We've effectively excluded 1 to 10 by not including it in the scope. Uh, 8 days is fine for the least time. Yes, we'll configure the options. Our gateway is going to be 128.1. Home.local, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, the IP address is actually going to be uh, 10.11.17. Uh, I think it was 5 for the DNS. Yeah. Okay, so it's moaning that that address didn't exist yet. So let's go ahead and configure that. So, as mentioned before, we have two interfaces in play here. Um, actually, no, we don't on the DHCP server. We just have Ethernet 0. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I have come across this before, actually. I'll just go off and Google this. When you um, promote it to a domain controller, you come across this issue where you don't have permissions to do certain things. 
I'll just go off and Google what the fix is for that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so there we go. Uh, <clears throat> it was a pretty easy fix in the end. Um, so it's something to do with the administrator account. And then once you promote the domain controller, or you, once you promote the server to a domain controller, that admin account no longer has the same privileges as what it did before. Although strangely enough, the fix for that is you just copy it and create another admin account under a different name. And that seems to work. OK, so yeah, this will be 10.11.17.5. Uh, 24 bit mask. Uh, default gateway will be 11.17.1. Uh, DNS will be itself. Yeah. Uh, backed off to, I'll tell you what, we'll use Cisco instead. Uh, 208.67.222.222. And that should allow us to finish our DHCP configuration now. Okay, so it was switch 11 clients. And dot 11 dot one to eight dot 11. Uh, 254 is it slash 24. Would help if I could type. Uh, no exclusions, as we said before. Eight days for the lease is fine. Yes, we'll configure the options. Uh, 128.1 will be the gateway. And DNS, yeah. Okay, so we want that to be the top. Uh, that we want that to be the only DNS that gets handed out. Okay, new scope was switch twelve. Uh, voice that was 10.11.134 let's just double check that yeah 134 <laughs> okay, slash 24 again no exclusions Eight days is fine. Dot one be the gateway. Uh, Seventeen dot five will be the DNS. And remove these two. And there we go, there's our DHCP setup. Quick look at our DNS.
Okay, cool. We can see our HQ domain control is already in there. We'll add a few things that we know about. Um, so add ice in there. That's going to be on 10.11.17.10, I believe. Yep, 10. Uh, we can add our FMC. That's going to be on 10.11.17.15. I think that's probably all we will use in terms of DNS. Forward, we will add that. We will use Cisco's DNS. not actually going to be able to reach it. Okay, so now we'll go back and add the certificate services. Yep, role based. That's the server we want. Active Directory certificate services. Yep, we'll add that. Uh, certificate authority. Yes, that's the only one we want for this. Okay, so that once that's installed, that'll probably reboot. And that is us done. That's our domain controller, DHCP, DNS, and will be certificate of warranty services set up. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.